<clears throat> All right, hey, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. We the brothers of uh, Great Millstone, the branch here in Birmingham, Alabama. And as always, we want to begin by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushah, Ba'ashem, Rakach, Yeah, the ancient Hebrew tongue that would be the correct name of the Heavenly Father, His only begotten Son, and the Holy Spirit. Also, we'd like to get double honors to our teachers, the head of apostles and elders of Great Millstone, you know, pretty much the uh, leaders of the nation of Israel, the men raised up here in these latter days to bring out this gospel in its purest form. I want to say shout out to these brothers out there that's also laboring in his work, continually pushing out this gospel in all true faith and sincerity, as well as you believers. You know, first and foremost, you believe in man and sheep, you know, right. Right. brothers and sisters, the Akimel Aqua that subscribe to this truth as well. So we back in the spirit. The power of your by Shmuel Shai, which uh, again is the spirit of prophecy, right? So this this is uh, going to be the first installment of uh, as foretold in the scriptures. All right, all right? <laughs> this is going to be an ongoing series, if you will, you know. And um, highlight was written in the scriptures. Really, everything is about was written in this book. This book pretty much narrate. It, it, this is the script for life and existence itself, you know. If everything that you see unfolding here on the planet Earth is written right here in this book, you know. And in this, this uh, sitting right here, we're going to highlight the fact that the so-called white man, Esau, the natural born enemy. Oh, and that's spirit. Natural born enemies. Where you thought that came from? That came from Genesis, the 25th chapter, man. Where these enemies was, was born in the womb. Matter of fact, um, could you, could, let's get that in the blue letter. Genesis, the 25th chapter, they struggled in the womb. And uh, by the way, this lesson is going to be centered around a clip we're going to share with you all, you know, a, a video clip with the FBI. I think this guy, his last name is Ray. Um, I forget, he's the FBI. He, he, he's one of the representatives of the FBI, you know. And he pretty much uh, spotlighted the, the Hebrew Israelites, you know. And this proves that we have the truth. Why is that? Because why uh, the FBI... All right, with all these concerns going on on the planet Earth, you know, you got Russia, you got China, mm -hmm. you know what's going on out there in the China Sea, yep. you, know, which, you know, you got all this oil and different uh, jockeying for position for territory and resources of, resources of the planet Earth, but you're concerned about guys, you know, with Bibles, you know, Why, that, that proved that we have the truth. You don't see the FBI speaking concern in uh, the black consciousness community, man, all right? So, you got that Genesis 25 chapter? Okay. Go ahead. Wow. Where you want me to start? Go ahead. Uh, <laughs> in, 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 in the struggle. Yeah. In, 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 well, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah in the in between the struggle and the womb. Yeah. Or 25, okay. 23. Okay. 20, yeah, kind of. Yeah, kind of. This is Genesis 25, 22. And the children struggled together yeah, within her. Uh, uh, yeah. Alright, kind of. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. You can jump up. This is Genesis 25, 21. And Isaac entreated the Lord. For his wife, because she was barren, uh -huh. and the Lord was entreated of him, and Rebecca, his wife, conceived, yep. and the children struggled together within her. Right, and the children struggled together within her. Thus, the phrase "natural born enemies." Now, real quick, will you look up that uh, that word "struggle"? Okay. Let's look up that word "struggle," because it gives you pretty much a, a glimpse, and it gives you more insight, if you will, clarity concerning. This dynamic between Jacob and Esau. And you're going to see when you look up this word, why Esau, the so-called white man, is going above and beyond the call of duty to try to keep us in subjection under him and to keep us in, in captivity. Because really, the kingdom and the blessing of the Lord comes with own and slaves. That's what this is all about. You think you want us to prove it? Give me uh, Psalm the second chapter. This thing is all about own and slaves, man. So really, slavery, because you got some people that, you know, uh, get into slavery, how we was in captivity, and they, oh my gosh, no, that's what it's all about. The right. thing is, we was in captivity under our enemies, right. mm -hmm. which there's a difference. You, you can have people that slaves right. under you, you know, and, and really uh, employee, when you go to the work, if you're, whenever you're nine to five, you're a slave. That word employee actually goes back to that. Right. Right. Yeah. That's it. You know? You got something? Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, this uh, Sirach 25, I'm going to start at 13. Yep. So give me any plague but the plague of the heart. Right, give me any plague but the plague of the heart. And that proves that this is a wise counsel. You can't serve your how about your mouth shot based upon emotions. Yeah, that's a part of it. 
because you have a zeal. A zeal is an emotion, mm -hmm. you know. But it's, it's, it's that's not the driving force. You can't come into this thing, you know what I mean? Uh, because you got a lot of guys that make that hard transition into Israel from being a, a part of the Black Power movement. They they got a thing they hate Esau. And that's a good thing, but that ain't where it starts and ends. You got to have an analytical mind. All right. This is all about wisdom. See, read that again. It said, "Give me any plague, but the plague of the heart." Right, and this is what to keep you out of the truth: the plague of the heart, which that word "heart" goes back to the mind, love in the Hebrew, right? So if you slow, you can be cool as hell. You slow and you ain't quick. We can't deal with you, man. We didn't have that before. We didn't have to have that in the camp, man. All right? You want to wave back? Go ahead. The, the, the notebook bandit. Go ahead. <laughs> it said, give me any plague but the plague of the heart. Mm -hmm. and any wickedness but the wickedness of a woman. <laughs> it said, so like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> every, every bust up together, the album bust out of it. Read that again, read that again, start off. It says, uh, so Rock Talk 9 13, uh -huh. give me any plague but the plague of the heart. Yeah, so you see the, the uh, sense of urgency with having a sound mind. Give me any plague. So you, hit, you understand that? That means you could plague my, you could plague my body. Right, yeah. right. Give me any plague but the plague of the heart. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And any wickedness but the wickedness of a woman. Go ahead. And any affliction but the affliction from them that hate me. See, and give me any affliction but the affliction of them that hate me. So it's, it's a difference with being in, being in captivity under those who hate you. All right? Thus the, the whips and, and being hung from a tree and mm -hmm. castrated. That's the motivation behind it because you was in captivity under those who hate you. All right? But in a bigger picture... If, you know, if you're a ruler, you want to always have somebody in subjection under you. That's slaves and servants. So that's what this is all about. That's the ultimate prize. So that's why you see Esau going hard body for that. See that? So, yep. Uh, go, let's go back. Who was that? Kind of going back to uh, Genesis 25 and 22. Mm -hmm. It says, and the children struggle together within her. Mm -hmm. And I got that word. Oh, hold up real quick. It was something else. Uh, Call it. Psalms 2. Yep. Kind of, yeah. Let's show you that. That, that 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 this is a, a blessing to have slaves is a gift. Go ahead. Psalm two and eight. Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance. Hold up, hold up. This is the Lord speaking to His only begotten Son. He said, "Ask of me, and I will give you the heathen." Right. Mm -hmm. So why did the Lord, the Lord gave him the answer before? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. No, that's just like um, you got a kid and you know what his desire is. You know he might want a bike. So you said, ask of me and I'm going to give you that bike. You ain't going to say, ask of me and I'm going to give you that bike when you really want a PlayStation. Mm. So he said, ask of me and I'm going to give you this bike because he know his heart. So he know that when you have a child want. Mm. All right? But that's that's the prize. Yeah. See? Even the Lord himself is acknowledging the fact that having the heathens for your possession is the ultimate prize. Read that again. Kind of, it said, ask of me. And somebody give me Revelation 2 and 26. Yep. Okay. Go ahead. I right, it said, ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance. Okay. In the uttermost. See, mm -hmm. I'll give you the heathen mm -hmm. for your inheritance. Huh. See that? Go ahead. In the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. See that? So give me what you got, Mama. It's uh, Isaiah 14, I'm sorry, yeah, That's it. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob, <laughs> and will yet choose Israel, yeah. and set them in their own land. Yep. And the stranger shall be joined with them. Right, and the stranger can be Isaiah 61. Yeah. Okay. Uh, go ahead, continue. And the stranger shall be joined with them. Yep, and the stranger shall be joined them. Go ahead. And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. Read. Verse right. 2. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. Uh huh. And the house of Israel shall possess them. Shall what? Possess them. Shall possess them. Your possession is is you yours. You have ownership of it, right? So it didn't say they're going to possess their goods. They, no, they're going to possess. We're going to possess you. All right? Because when we possess you, that means we possess everything you own. Go ahead. Your strength. Right. If I possess you, I possess your strength, man. You know? You're going to put your back into, and your blood, sweat, and tears into to my project. All right, go ahead. Come, come reading on Isaiah 14 2. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord uh -huh. for servants and handmaids. Yeah. And they shall take them captives. Who captured they were. Now, it said, we're going to take them captive who captured they were. Now, give me that definition in Genesis real quick. Kind of, 
Kinds. Where it said they struggled in the womb. Go ahead. Struggle. This is the uh, Strong's 875.33. It says to crush, oppress. Whoa, to what? Oppress. To oppress. See that? Go ahead. Mm -hmm. It uh, continues on. It says to crush, get crushed, mm -hmm. be crushed, oppress again. Mm -hmm. All right, to be crushed, be broken. Uh huh. To grievously oppress. See, the oppress. Oppress goes into slavery, man. When you oppress someone, mm -hmm. it's not we being oppressed by... Uh, did that scripture say who uh, 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 oppresses... Yes, right. That's That's right. That's right. <laughs> who oppresses, slay them, and all that stuff, not guilty? Yep. So that's really what that struggle is going into, man. It's a tug of war. We had them in captivity. We go to the time of King that we had them in subjection. All right, but it's like if you if you ever watch um, you know one of these movies, two guys fight, and the one guy get the momentum, get on top of him, mm -hmm. and the other guy get the momentum. You know, that's what it is. They to crush each other, oppress each other. See, that's why the scripture said we're gonna take them captive, who's captive they were. Right. See, so that's gonna be the momentum. We're gonna have an upper hand. Yeah, see, who oppress is gonna oppress them. See, go ahead. It's uh going to the strongs again. It says uh to crack in pieces. Yeah. Woo! Oh, what? Well, to, to crack in pieces. To crack in pieces. And that, we, so, anybody got that on deck? Revelation 2. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it up. Yeah, this is the book of um, Revelation um, 2. Let me start off verse 27. To 26. 26. He said, and he that overcome and keep my work. Overcome it. When you wrestling, yeah. you struggling, <laughs> you overcome this person. Whoever overcome this world, which is the world of Esau, yeah. This is a fight. This is a spiritual fight, right? Mm -hmm. So if you overcome, then you're going to get the prize. What's the prize? It says, and keep, and keep with my works until the end. Yep. To him will I give power over the nations. See? Go ahead. And he shall rule them. With Whoa. Power. Why is that the prize? <laughs> See that? It didn't say, you know, he shall be at peace. He's going to have a lot of allies. Y'all will trade with one another. <laughs> no. It says you're going to rule them, right? <laughs> Go ahead. With a rod of iron. Oh, with a rod of iron. Go ahead. As the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers. See, we just read in the definition for struggle. See that? Go ahead. Even as I received them, my father. And when did he receive that? We just read in the Psalm, the second chapter. Uh -huh. So you see what scriptures come together? All right, now give me Isaiah the sixth chapter before we get into this. Isaiah 60 and 14. Mm -hmm. It said, The sons also of them that afflicted thee. And who's the who's, who's mm -hmm. those that afflicted us, man? Mm -hmm. So-called white man, first and foremost, but the scripture saying the sons of those who afflicted mm -hmm. us, your son come after you. So this is the time we in. We're in the time mm -hmm. now where the remnant of Esau is going to come bowing to us, man. They're going to give themselves. Hey, man, they talk about reparation, right? And you know what the reparation is going to be? It's going to be you. Mm -hmm. so You're going to be the reparation, man. Okay? That's just it. Read that again. Kind of, it says, uh, the sons also of them that that afflicted thee uh -huh. shall come bending unto thee. Woo! Go ahead. And hey, I, that's a powerful man. Uh -huh. That's a powerful prophecy, man. Hey, that's Isaiah the sixth chapter, right? Uh -huh. Now, when you read that, it tells you how we're gonna fear yep. for the forces. Wait, Isaiah six. Uh, yeah. it, it said we're gonna fear, right? Yeah, it said we're gonna, we're gonna fear for the forces that gonna be brought to us. Uh -huh. The Gentiles gonna bring us their forces. You gonna see them bringing all that gold, and and your heart won't skip a beat. Like, oh shit. And the mere fact that Esau don't come down down to you, you know, all these different nations don't come down, you know? Kind. Go ahead. Kind. It says, um, it says, the son also them that, that afflicted thee shall come bending unto thee, uh -huh. and all they that despise thee shall bow themselves down at the sole of thy feet. Yep, continue. And they shall call thee the city of the Lord, mm -hmm. the Zion and the Holy One of Israel. Right, yeah, the, the memorial of the mm -hmm. Lord. Go ahead, continue. I'll continue. Kind, yeah, yeah, kind. It says, Whereas thou hast been forsaken and hated, uh -huh. so that no man went through thee. Right, for an example. You, com you consider these communities. Nobody don't go through uh, the inner city of Chicago, the inner city of, you know, uh, uh, L.A. Or, you know what I'm talking about? That you forsaken, no man might travel through you, right? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. He said, I will make thee in it eternal excellency. An eternal excellency. Mm -hmm. Damn. Look up that word excellency real quick. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. A joy of many generations. A joy of many generations. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, look, yeah, look up that word uh, uh, real quick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. This is the word excellency in the Strong's H one three four seven. 
It says, uh, ex exaltation, it says uh, majesty, mm -hmm. Go ahead. pride. Oh, oh, read that again. Exaltation, majesty, pride. Pride. You know we're going to be proud in the kingdom? That'll throw people out. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to be proud in the kingdom. Matter of fact, let's prove that. Give me Isaiah 61 real quick. The yeah. next chapter yeah. of 61 and 6. Mm -hmm. right. Yep, it, Isaiah 61 and 6. It said, But ye shall be named the priests of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Men shall call you the ministers of our power. Right. You shall eat the riches of the Gentiles. See, we're going we're gonna to get all their riches. See, we're going to eat their riches. Go ahead. And in their glory... Shall you boast yourself? See, and that word say you boast, <laughs> boast yourself. So that means that we're gonna have a certain level of pride in the kingdom, man. But it's gonna be in righteousness, man. Right. You know, because we're gonna understand that it was your how. And why, why wouldn't we? We're gonna be the top, the cream of the crop. And this sounds foreign, man, to a people who've been robbed and spoiled, down, trying, nigga, pants sagging, man. Yeah. You know, uh, smoking a blunt, psycho babbling. Nigga, you know what I mean? Yeah, nigga, eating fried. Oh, like, like this nigga, uh, 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 your boy, Quantum Wild. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, that's the real. Yeah, you watch that nigga play Call of Duty. You geek, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but guess what? That people, man, that, you, that everybody has looked down on, you know what I mean? But guess what? You're going to be a people that's going to be exalted, man. You know? The scripture said we're going to be the uh, uh, Zion of the Most High, yeah. a memorial. That really, when you go into it, we're going to be a reminder of the right. Most High. Yep. Like the, the counterpart of the Most High through His Son on the planet mm -hmm. Earth. Like a reminder. Oh, oh, there is a power. Look at, look at Him. Mm -hmm. There's a power, you know. Mm -hmm. Just look at them. Mm -hmm. But it's going to be starting with the elect. So again, that definition for excellency, it says exaltation, majesty, pride. See? And we just read how we're going to boast in, in the glory, in, in the uh, riches. Uh, 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 these other nations, man. We're going to boast ourselves in mm. the head, you know? Look at us, man. This is it. Israel, you know? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, now that, uh, that was it on that. Let's go back. You finished on the Isaiah 60? Uh, I think you was in 16 verse, 15 verse, or 16 verse? Yeah, I finished. You want to go to 16? Go to 16 real quick. Got, then we'll get into this uh, info. Got, yeah. yeah, this is uh, Isaiah 60 and 16. Mm -hmm. Thou shalt also suck the milk of the Gentiles. Yeah, meaning we're going to... Uh, Thrive up. Look, if you got a slave, the slave bring you the cup. Mm -hmm. You got cup barrels, man. See, Israel can't digest that yeah. type of life. They can't, you know what I'm saying? You can't digest, you you can't fathom it. You can't wrap your mind around. Uh, oh, the scriptures say uh, we're going to rest upon our beds. Mm -hmm. Man, we ain't going to do shit. We ain't got to lift a yeah. finger, man. Right. Right. You know? What you, what, you gonna, what you know about having a body bringing you a cup to drink, man? That's what the Lord is going to do. You got to point. Hey, give me that in Romans 8. Go ahead and get what you got. Yeah, I just, I, you know, uh, you know oh, like Paul they all bring out them. You know that movie, Trading Places. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good movie right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Murphy and, um, and the other Yeah, I forget that guy's name. Yeah. Guy. Yeah. Oh, that's a good point because it gives you a vivid illustration. That's, that's a very spiritual yeah, movie yeah, yeah, yeah. because they got the bankers in the movie. Yeah, do, uh, yeah. Remember the bankers? The bankers, the one who kind of played everybody. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, uh, it was a it was a big trade in the places. But it shows you how um, Esau know about what's going on. Esau show you, you know, uh, 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 truth. You can do nothing against the truth before right. the truth. Right. So Esau, they, they bring out the truth even in lies. You know, the truth is still there. Right. But you got to have an eye salve, if you will. Um, you know, you got to have that spirit, uh, you know, like an owl. You know, the attribute of an owl. They can see through the darkness. You know? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, uh, yeah, give me what you got real quick. Kind of, we'll go back to that. Go ahead. Kind of, yeah, the first Corinthians 2 and 9. But as it is written, I have not seen. Yep, I have not seen. Go ahead. No ill heard. Yep. Neither have entered into the heart of man the things which the Most High have, pre have prepared for them that love him. Right, so the Lord have prepared a rulership for us, man. You know? Mm -hmm. We're going to actually have a service. You know? But again, you don't understand what all comes along with that. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the level that the Lord is going to put us on. All right, so go back to where you was at. Kind of. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Huh? Yeah, like <clears throat> having service, right, that's that's real riches. 
You know, yep, um, people think, you know, being rich is having gold, silver, you know, land, cattle, which that's that's being rich, but to be wealthy, to be well off, is to have servants. Mm-hmm. That's real riches, man, because people are the real riches. Not not this money, not this gold. The people, meaning a servant. That's the real riches. When you own servants, that's when you really, really rich. You know what I'm saying? When you own people, because they bring they bring about everything. You see what I'm saying? You ain't got to lift a finger. You know? They do everything for you. They bring about more people. They bring about more people. A cow or a horse, diamonds, gold can't do what people can do. All you got to do is say a word. That's it. And that's and it's over with. I definitely say it. They'll think, make decisions, you know, blah, blah, blah. Then you select, you know, certain people in your palace to say, okay, I'm going to put you over this matter. I'm going to put him over this matter because I see he got the judgment to make decisions upon this matter. And you never have to move a finger like the ox said. You know, like the scripture said, we're going to suck the milk of the uh, Yeah, just that. that, Because and Esau understand that concept. Yep. That's why they trying to get everybody chip. You think that's just oh, something that's to do? Yeah, they trying to get. They trying to make everybody go. Matter of fact, let's get the precept on. Go ahead. Kind of, yeah, they have a cook two and five. Uh-huh. Yeah. Also, because he transgressed by wine, go ahead. he is a proud man. Oh, and that's talking about Esau again. He is a proud man. Go ahead. Neither keep it at home. And that's obvious. You know, you look around mm-hmm. the planet Earth. This man have embassies and military bases set up all around the world. Go ahead. Who enlarges his desire as hell. Enlarges his desire as hell. Go ahead. And is as death. And is death. Go ahead. And cannot be satisfied. He cannot. Here it is. He got all the money, right? His face on the money. He, he got the military to impose his will. So it says he cannot be satisfied. Go ahead. But gather unto him all nations. See the peace in that. See? But gather unto him all nations. Go ahead. <laughs> and he will... Unto him all people. See that? All people. See? Meaning what? That means that's the prize. The people. So that's why I say he can't be satisfied, but he gathered unto himself all nations and heap it unto himself all people. It didn't say gold. Yeah, right. right. It's, it's because even though he have done that, but it is it's the people. Mm-hmm. Right? You got something? I'll, I'll kind of look at this word heap. Right See that word heap? Um, did, did it pull up for you? Uh, it's loading up now. Okay. okay. Let's see. That's perfect. So like you. What do you want? Isaiah, what? What do you want? Oh, uh, no. Nah, they have a good two. Have a good two and five. Right. They, they, have um, and, five. and get that word heap. Whoever can get it first, bring it out. I just uh, look at have a two and five. I got it. Yeah. Heap. All right. It's uh, Strong's H6908. The word heap. Kavats, it says to gather, yeah, yeah. Together. assemble, to gather, collect, assemble. It says, or collect, you know, if you collect some, you might collect precious items. Mm-hmm. You know, they might say you're a collector right. of, of, you know, of books and uh-huh. of ancient artifacts. Mm-hmm. You collect and you store them. To store, that's like a bank. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like savings. Mm-hmm. You collecting people, you goddamn devil, man. <laughs> that's like what they and that's what they're going to try to do. They try to collect you by, uh, Monitor you. What you do to what you own? You tag it. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Mm-hmm. You know? Sure. Which they look at the people as goyim. Right. Mm-hmm. right. You know? Yeah. You look that up. Yep, go ahead. It says, to gather, collect, assemble, to assemble, gather, to be gathered. Yeah, to be gathered. That's the melting pot here in America. Right. It says, yeah. it says, to gather, gather, together, take away, to be gathered together, to gather, together, be Well, you see gather. the key word there is gather. Yep. If, if great gatherers. Yep. yep. Oh, yeah, mm. Would you leave yeah, some clusters? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, great. Fucking devil. That would a robber do. You got a bad gathering, you know. <laughs> so yeah, you got more of it. We had some of us in the Isaiah six. Yeah. Oh, there's yeah. that Isaiah six thou. And the sixteen verse. Go ahead. Yeah, Isaiah sixteen sixteen. Thou shalt also suck the milk of the Gentiles, mm-hmm. and shalt suck the breast of kings. Yep. And thou shalt know that I, the Lord. And thy Savior, yeah. and, and thy yeah. Redeemer, mm. the mighty one of Jacob. Yeah, so the Lord is going to make this happen. Mm. Man, this is the Lord's pleasure, man. Give me real quick before we go further. Luke, is that Luke 12 and 32? Okay. It's the Lord's pleasure for us to rule over the nations, man, and have service. Esau is trying to uh, somehow will himself into that blessing, man. You know? He's trying to establish his own uh, uh, kingdom. 
you know, without the, the uh, 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 sanction, sanctioning of our lawyer, how about some outside? So go ahead and get what you got. It's St. Luke 12 32. Fear not, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure uh -huh. to give you the kingdom. Right, it's your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom, That's okay? It. And he went the kingdom, it consists of what? Rulership, ruling yeah. over others, man. That's the kingdom of heaven. Man, the kingdom of heaven is not your grandma's idea of the kingdom of heaven, man. No, the kingdom of heaven is going to be a rigorous rule, so to speak. It's going to be somewhat of a dictatorship, man. Do you understand that word, rod of iron? That phrase, rod of iron. Uh -huh. right? That should give you, that should capture the very essence of the kingdom of heaven. We're going to put hell on you other nations, and, and mainly Esau. And that's what's the driving force behind these devils and their demonization of us. Because uh -huh. now they're coming to the point where, look, we got to kill. You know, because Esau ain't going to sit down and talk nothing out with us. You know what Esau going to do? He's going to revert to his attributes. One is what? Deception. Okay? What's the other? The sword. Oh, I was saying this with the brothers the other day, right? Ben Franklin, this devil. Yeah. Oh, which we brought to Ben Franklin. He used to be all into brothels and mm -hmm. damn mm -hmm. big sex orgy parties. Mm -hmm. Damn demon, right? Like all of them. Mm -hmm. But he, he had this statement, right? And Esau looked at it as some profound statement. It was, uh, uh, three people can keep a secret if two of them is dead. Three people can keep a secret if two of them is dead. Now, when, if you if you when you hear that, right, the first thing that should come to mind is that's the mentality of the sword. Mm -hmm. That's the only way you can rationalize things out. They just kill you. Just kill them. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. now, instead of them saying three people can keep a secret if they was all loyal, mm -hmm. or if they all had integrity. The man said three people can keep a secret if two of them is dead. Yeah. Man. So it's just certain things we look at and we, we analyze. We, 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 we scrutinizing you devils, man, because we that light, you know, and you on trial right now, man. And that's why, again, you got them trying to combat us, and that's what we want to share in this lesson. Uh, so we're going to play this clip real quick. I'm pretty sure you brothers saw, saw it, but we're going we're gonna, to uh, do a little commentary on it, <clears throat> all right? And what you're going to hear is the voice of, um, I think, the head guy of the FBI. I know his last name is Ray, but we're going to go into it. Go ahead up. So there are no misunderstandings moving forward. Thank you for being here, sir. Thank you, Director Ray. Thank you for uh, being with us today. And I know you've been here for a very long time. Um, hey, pause it one time. Huh? Have... Hey, can y'all hear it out there? Because we just playing this clip um, from that source, and hopefully it'll pick up. Hey, can y'all hear this video where we were just playing? Okay, come on. All right. So let's 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 play the game. Start it. Start it over. Uh, so there are no misunderstandings moving forward. Thank you for being here, sir. Thank you, Director Ray. Thank you for uh, being with us today. And I know you've been here for a very long time. Um, you know, we have spoken many times about black identity extremists. And oh, I definitely want to ask you about now, it today. Let's 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 look up. Can somebody look up that word? I mean, see if y'all can look up that. Black, black identity, identity extremists. Oh, and if not, you can just look up extremists because we know what black identity is. Right, okay. Right. So you just want to look up extremists? Yeah, or you can look up Adam one. It don't matter, you know. <clears throat> you got whoever we got, whoever we got. So now you you have where well, these devils have actually framed. A, a, a boogeyman. See? See, you got to pay attention. This is how these devils always gotten down. You go back into, um, shit, you go way back to, to uh, the native, they, 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 what you think the word Indian mean? It goes back to um, savage. savage, man. They call them a damn savage. So to justify you taking their land. But even in more recent history, let's say like the Taliban and Al-Qaeda, you created a boogeyman. You know, as if these was the next guy to threaten the world. You got six Arabs on a damn uh, 1998 pickup truck. You know what I mean? With some sandals, man. And kept a couple of SKs. <laughs> with, with some head wraps. Yeah, head wraps and garments. And he said, these guys is a threat. But what it is, is Esau uh, conditioning your mind to say, you know what? This is a threat, and we have to take them out. So now you see this is the same old formula. It goes all the way back to Bush. You know, that... that uh, um, cabinet, you know, that regime, you had the uh, war on drugs, mm -hmm. where, where uh, Pookie was the guy, 
Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. I mean, he had to be... That's why you had... Um, I know even under the Clinton administration, man, somebody went down on that third three strikes law. That's when a lot of Jake went to prison, man. And that war on drugs. Yeah, you got caught with a Grammy, man. Right. Fucking devil. Yeah, they right. brought it work over here. Right. Fucking Ronald Reagan. Yeah, Ronald Reagan. Right. You know what that's I'm it. talking that's about? It. That's, that's it. it. That's it. That's it. Yeah. But see, but that's what it is. They always, it's always a war on something. Why? Because that's your blessing. The right. war on terror. Right. Oh, the war on the coronavirus. That's Who it. the face of that? See, it's always a war on something, right? Yeah, yeah. Because you are the that's damn it. devil, man. You is uh, a, a fulfillment of Revelation the sixth chapter. Mm -hmm. the, the one woman went into a beautiful lesson on that about the um the two hundred and um, twenty nine years. Yeah, 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 yeah. That that was the nail in the coffin. Yeah, damn sure right. Damn sure right. Now you can no longer run from this. So now what you're gonna do? You're gonna try to combat this by your instincts. Your sword gonna kick in. You know he's gonna change his count. Oh, like a porcupine. You don't see those thistles <laughs> at first. <laughs> But when you bag them in that corner, them yeah. thistles come out. All right? So that's what's happening with Esau. Mm -hmm. So go ahead. You got some? Yeah, I got a uh, black identity extremist on Wikipedia. Okay. It says, in the United States, black identity extremist, B-I-E, was uh, designation, uh, yeah, designated, used by the Federal Bureau of uh, FBI. And that's what you're saying right yeah. now. You say uh, it's, that's accurate. That's right. It says, uh, August 2017 to July 2019. It first appeared in a counterterrorism report. Uh oh, terrorism, <laughs> counterterrorism. That, that's the same old thing. That's the same formula they've been using. Yeah. It was Bin Laden. It was, you know, mm -hmm. it was these terrorist groups, these terrorist cells. Mm -hmm. They had to counter these terrorists. See? Then they send the peacekeepers, which, by the way, is, is guys <laughs> coming out of a helicopter with some damn guns you never saw before. All right? Now you know the city we watching this morning on uh, RT. Oh, ooh. Man, you the devil, man. Yeah, man. You the devil, Esau, mm, man. man now, we, just for the interest of time, we ain't gonna even, I ain't gonna, I don't even want to mention it. Lord, we'll, we'll touch on it, man. But Esau the devil. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah that's a nigga, man. It says it, it first appeared in a counter trailblazer report dated 2017, August 3rd. Sent to two to sent to thousands of American police departments <laughs> and described safety concerns about allegedly violent so-called African-American activists. The term was... Uh, oh, look, how dare you throw around the word violence, man? How dare you, man? You throw around the word violence, man. Okay? I got a for that. Everything, you, you <laughs> damn, yeah, give me that, man. I already know what you want. <laughs> yeah, Go, yeah, bring yeah. This is, uh, I'm going to start at 5. This is Psalm 73 and verse 5. Mm -hmm. It said, They are not in trouble as other men, yep. neither are they played like other men. Therefore, pride compasses them about as a chain. Mm -hmm. Violence covered them as Violence a garment. Violence covered them as a garment. You, you know, you, you, upon further examination, you see that this man is all about blood, man. Now, how dare you bring up anything about violence, you know? Then they'll, they'll check you about uh, taking a glimpse into their history. Nah, that was the past. But on the other hand, right, if you want to get a new car or a house, first thing they want to do is take a past credit history report. They want to go into your credit, your past, man. Your past dictates everything here. Oh, even if you're on trial. Now, you get charged with something, yeah. even if you ain't got any priors. Yeah. Mm. So we're going to send you to prison because of your past. You, you devil's got a lot to pay for, man. And how dare we bring up your past, man. <laughs> and that's why the Spirit of the Lord had to keep you, you know, yeah. with certain, you know, keep your wits about you, man. Because you're a loser, man. This devil, man, will drive you to the brinks of, you know, <laughs> that was scripture. We get it now. Yeah, Vex it. with the filthy. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Got, uh, got a precept. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, this is Jeremiah twelve six. For even thy brethren and the house of thy father, even they have dealt treacherously with thee. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they have called a multitude after thee. Yeah. Believe them not, though they speak fair words unto thee. Right. Yeah. That's them devils. Have, oh, that's that uh, multitude burning. Uh, yeah. Burning yeah. yeah. multitude kindled over you. Yeah, so they call a multitude against us, man. And the same as they did with our forefathers. That's why the scripture said, when you uh, uh, you will see that, that rust has not been wiped away, mm -hmm. altogether wiped away. Mm -hmm. You know? That's the same old devil. So go ahead, huh? Yeah, uh, going back to the Wikipedia, it says the term was discontinued uh, when the FBI merged several classifications under the umbrella term of racially motivated violent extremists. Goddamn devil. How, 
The audacity for you to say some shit like that, man. When your history is riddled with racial violence, chasing Jake down in a pickup truck, you know, and mm -hmm. hanging him. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm going to jump around. It says, uh, in November 2017, the National Organization of Black Law Enforcement Executives, the nation's largest black police group, states that the FBI designation is ill-advised. Mm -hmm. So they got their own people coming up against them, which they, they jakes, of course. They're the coming up against them. They said it's ill-advised, man, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because people saying. know we ain't we out there. It's not like we hide, man. Matter of fact, let's go back into the video. You, yeah, give it to you guys. You had some too, right? Yeah, no, no, no. Okay, definition. Definition. Okay, definition. Oh, matter of fact, before you get that up, let's get this definition for extremeness now. Because we pretty much know what the black identity We know we're not black, but you know, for edification's sake, okay. we will be considered black, right? Identity, that would be identity, calling it them. So let's see what extremeness means. Go ahead. The word extremeness, just a simple Google dictionary uh, definition. A person who holds extreme or f fanatical political or religious views. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> especially one who resorts to or advocates extreme action. Oh, I see that. Ah, <laughs> yeah, good. So that's what we've been framed as. Mm -hmm. But you see political or extreme is in there. Mm -hmm. you know? So yeah, get what you got up. Yeah, kind of this is the book of uh, Psalm 37 and verse... Um, this is the book of Psalm 37, I'm starting verse 12. It says, The wicked plotted against the just yes, yeah. and gnashed upon him with his teeth. Right, gnashed upon him with his teeth. What does that mean? That means press upon him with his military. The teeth of Esau is his military. So they plotting on us, right? You see the plotting. So what's the next step in this chronological order we read here? Then he's going to gnash upon us with his teeth. He's going to press upon us with his military. With your teeth is in your mouth. So that means these laws is what's going to enforce the teeth. That's why before the military actually was deployed, uh -huh. all right, or when you actually see that military, heavy military presence, it got to be signed off on. The mouth got to speak it first. You don't see the teeth until I owe my mouth. See? Go ahead. Uh, continuing on, it says, The Lord shall laugh at him, mm -hmm. for he see that his day is coming. Yeah, and, and that's going to be uh, manifested through us. We're going to be a reflect. We're going to be that reflection, you know, of the Lord laughing. Because that's us in the spirit. We see his day coming. No matter what you devils do to us, we know that there's a day of reckoning. You know? We know about that proverbial light at the end of the tongue that comes in the form of us whooping your, us having that rod of iron. And that's going to be literal. Out of all the gold and shit, we have, have a rod of iron <laughs> locked up. You know what I mean? Bring it. <laughs> Unleash it. <laughs> oh, you have a guy come out, you know, like... The, the hunchback guy come out. Yeah, yeah, ogre or some Yeah, shit. ogre come out. You know what I mean? That ride, man. And we might not even be swinging. We had like professional swingers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cause, yeah, you know what I mean? Straight up, they sit to y'all here and laugh and shit. <laughs> yep. That's all right. Oh, uh, go ahead. This is uh, Obadiah 1 and um, it's out of 10. Mm -hmm. For thy violence against thy brother Jacob. Right, so the scriptures always give you the reason why. The cops. Mm -hmm. Arrest you. What the first thing? What I did, sir? Mm -hmm. Oh, man, you. Mm -hmm. So that's the scripture. The scripture said, for that advice against that brother Jacob. We telling you why you're going to get your ass hit to you, Esau. Go ahead. Over that one ten again. For that violence against that brother Jacob, same shall cover thee, and that shall be cut off forever. Mm hmm. Cut off. That was it on that? That's, that's the point. Yeah. You're going to be cut off forever. That's mm -hmm. ultimately the fate of Esau. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they got this fatuation with extinct, like dinosaur. Mm -hmm. you gonna be, you the dinosaur. Yep. You notice that Esau guys always want to talk about dinosaur and extinct animal. you gonna be, you the dinosaur. Mm -hmm. All right? So now, uh, that was it all. Now let's go back to the video. Yeah, okay. mm -hmm. We have spoken many times about black identity extremists, and I definitely want to ask you about that today. Um, I understand that the Bureau no longer uses BIE and instead categorizes these cases under the broader label of racially motivated violent extremism. Goddamn dope. But, um, but one, I wanted to know if you guys have really uh, repudiated the whole BIE category, because I, I know when we've talked about it in the past, it, it really wasn't, it didn't seem to be that there was much evidence that there were black identity extremists. And, I, and the title was a little longer than that. Something about black identity extremists that threaten police or attack police. So tell me what's different. 
So uh, I found our conversations before to be, uh, you know, very constructive and very valuable. Uh, and we also engaged uh, not just with you and your colleagues, but also with Noble. Uh, with whom we have a great relationship and are working more closely than ever. Uh, we have, um, as you mentioned, changed our terminology. We, as part of a, a broader reorganization of the way in which we categorize our domestic terrorism efforts. So we took a whole bunch of categories, not just the one that you mentioned, but a number of others, and consolidated it down to really four buckets. And the reason for that is what we want... What are the four buckets? What's that? What are the four buckets? Uh, there's racially motivated violent extremism. Uh, Which you guilty of, Esau. Kind of violent extremism that's driven with a kind of racial intent of one sort or another, no matter which direction. There is... Um, uh, Anarchism slash government extremism, I may not have the label right, but that covers kind of a variety of everything, sort of certain kinds of militia stuff all the way over to kind of more of the anarchist, uh, maybe sort of Antifa-like mm -hmm. uh, kind of methodology. There is uh, abortion violent extremism, people on either side of that issue who commit... What the fuck are you talking about? No, no, hit that. Views One on thing that. that jumped out that you can't let uh, slip, up, slip by is that domestic terrorism uh, yes. board yep. Yes. You know, which is like homegrown terrorism. Uh -huh. Meaning the terrorist is, is pretty much a citizen of that particular country, right? Yep. So, you know, they see how they frame this thing. First of all, who, where you came up with that. You don't really have domestic terrorism, man. I mean, when you go into uh, uh, like certain um, bombings or whatever, it's questionable, man. Uh -huh. As if the, uh, 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 the FBI or the CIA might have been behind it. Yep. You know, a lot of the stuff is questionable because we know how Esau get down, man. Mm -hmm. All right? You have been uncovered. We know you. you you're bad. You possess the sword, man. We know that that's not firing for whenever Esau want to get a point across or they might want to bring in a new legislation. They do it through violence, man. You know? They'll send a goddamn active shooter to a school to shoot up the school so they can enforce a gun law. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? So we understand that that domestic terrorism, that, that was a figment of your imagination that you brought to life. Ain't nobody out here doing no shit like that, man. Uh, like that, you know what, real quick. Mm -hmm. If that's going on, right, why ain't a motherfucker went up in the White House yet? White House right on the block, yeah. man. Mm -hmm. In Washington, right around the corner. <laughs> nigga smoking dope and all kinds of shit. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. Why ain't nobody saying, you know what, let's just go shoot the out. fucking White House up. <laughs> If we want to make a splash, right? You go shoot up Curly Middle School. <laughs> Come on, man. Then they had these guys with these diabolical. Like, this guy was that diabolical. Oh, you remember the guy that, uh, about a year and a half ago, two years, man, they, he shot up Las Vegas. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Fuck out of here, man. For what? Yeah. You want to make a statement. You ain't think to get, get the White House, man. Come on, man. So that domestic, homegrown terrorism bullshit is, is another work of Esau, man. Mm -hmm. The deception of Esau. All right? Go ahead. Can I a, mm -hmm. Oh, you got something to like? Mm -hmm. It's uh, Proverbs chapter 12, chapter 20. Mm -hmm. The seat is in the heart mm -hmm. of them that imagine evil. Damn. Ooh, that's bad because imagine go back to those secret councils. Mm -hmm. it, it's all about evil. They imagine evil. They work of evil upon their beds. They, yep. they work it. Uh, you get that? Yeah. They practice it because it's in the mm -hmm. power of their hand. Go ahead, uh, uh, read, uh, Back in uh, Proverbs 12 and uh, 20, the seat, is in, the seat is in the heart of them that imagine evil, mm -hmm. but to the counsel of peace is joy. Right. So deceit, right? Those who imagine evil, which is Esau, is all driven by deceit, you know? Or it's all, it all comes together under the banner of deceit. In order for them to get off, you know, to get that evil off, it's centered around the seat. Yep, go ahead. Kind of, yeah, that Micah 2 and 1. It said, Woe to them that devise iniquity mm -hmm. and work evil upon their beds. Mm -hmm. When the morning is light, they practice it mm -hmm. because it is in the power of their hand. Right, so when you see these different, like, uh, shootings, and Esau devised that. You know what I'm saying? And it's in the power of their hand to do so. All right? Quick precept. Uh, go ahead. Yeah, this uh, Sirach, Ecclesiastes 28 and 13. Matter of fact, I'm going to start at 12. It said, If thou blow the spark, it shall burn. If thou spit upon it, it shall be quenched. Slack, so you read that again. Kind. It says, uh, if, 
God, yeah. it's Rock 28 and 12. It said, If thou blow the spark, it shall burn. If thou spit upon it, it shall be quenched. Mm -hmm. And both of these come out of thy mouth. Woo! Yep. It said, Curse the whisperer uh -huh. and double tongue. Wait, oh, the whisperer is these secret counsels. Mm -hmm. You know? Go ahead. It said, Curse the whisperer and the double tongue. Hey, because what's the difference with you and us? <laughs> we exactly. out and about. Yep. We out in the light. The scriptures say, Wet man lighter for candle. Yep. We not tiptoeing around. But see, the Lord snared these devils. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? Because it's not like you got to send no spies, no intelligence. Mm -hmm. Here we are. We right here, man. And even, uh, she, I think she's going to go into that. Do the guys be on the streets? <laughs> we out there, man. The cops know us. Oh, and even the cops, you can tell the cops have developed somewhat of a... Yeah. You know, the cops be speaking, man. Mm -hmm. You know, for the brothers that go out there, I'm pretty sure you experience. But that's the fulfillment of the scripture. The Lord said, even I will... I will make your, when a man ways please mm -hmm. the Lord, yep. I will even make your enemies be at peace with you, man. Because the police is, is a, a form, that's the uh, hit squad of the elites. The police is a private organization, man. Mm -hmm. the, really, the police is against, um, it, it, it's contrary to the uh, Constitution. Because you got like the right to bear arms, you got the, you know, you, you for the police yourself, you know? That's part. But you don't need no private sector. Telling you what the hell you really think about what the fuck I need a cop here for, man. I just you come to my house, I'm gonna put your ass to death, man. Yeah, good. Now, it said, uh, curse be the whisperer and double tongue, for such have destroyed many that were at peace. Yeah, that's it. So, so that that's it. Alright, come on, let's go back over here. Americans targeting others. So for example Oh, it's said Americans yeah. targeting others, right? That's domestic terrorism right there. Matter of fact, somebody look up that real quick. Let's let's just do that for edification's sake. I think just look up domestic terrorism. Because you said Americans killing Americans. Well, you guilty of that, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. What are your GMOs doing, man? Americans killing Americans. Mm -hmm. You know? What are your, the pharmaceutical uh, uh, business, man, doing, man? Americans killing Americans. And if you try to uh, grow any... Uh, you know, producer in natural earth. They'll kill you, man. Let that do that with that dude, Dr. Um C B. Yep. He went too far, man. He tried to get a name for <laughs> he, he tried to get some glory and they put him to death. Alright, yeah, go ahead. Kind of, uh domestic terrorism and uh Wikipedia says in the United States consists of incidents confirmed as terrorist acts. These attacks are considered domestic because they were carried out by a U.S. citizen or... See, by U.S. citizen. See, go ahead. Or U.S. permanent resident. See that? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. See uh, some more? Yes. That was it on that? Yeah, that was it on that. Okay, it's kind of... Some so, love and just... Some love. Okay, go ahead. Okay. You probably saw some of the reporting uh, about the killing of the individuals in Jersey City. Hit that. Fucking W, man. You, Fucking man. W, man. See, you know, we know that that killing in Jersey City was a stage, man. Mm -hmm. There wasn't no goddamn Israelite. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you heard somebody break it. You, 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 you got an uh, uh, epiphany. You watched a, a live stream or some shit and said, man, fuck it, man. I'm going to go find some so-called Jews and I'm going to put them in. Jake don't get down like that, man. Yeah, no, man. Now, Jake will put you to death for some bread or some shit, man. Or, Jake shoot wild right. with the gun. Right. They don't accident yeah. killers amongst Israel and shit like right. that, man. Yeah. Yeah. Jake ain't a bloodthirsty <laughs> killer like Esau. If you watch Forensic Five, Esau kill you after yeah. anything, man. Right. Sport. Yeah. yeah, just for sport, yeah. For the thrill of the kill. Yeah. Let's see what they do with the animals and shit. It's not based upon survival when they hunt, man. To feed, you know, or clothe themselves and shit like that. Right. They do it for sport. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? No, 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 I said that's right, that's right. You know what I'm saying? Yep. For the thrill of the kill, man. So they try to put that off on Jake, like Jake gonna just run up in somebody's house and just put him to death. Mm -hmm. Fuck out of here. Yeah, go ahead. Mm -hmm. You look, look on this nigga's face, he lying, man. Why in the back of the people that You probably saw some of the reporting uh, about the killing of the individuals in Jersey City. I including did. the killing of the people in the kosher supermarket. I did. Uh, those individuals were 
associated themselves with something called the Black Hebrew Israelite. Hey, Matt Pop, I, I, I wish you could see the look on his face. He yeah. like he was just thinking on the fly. Yeah. The Black the Hebrew. Black Hebrew. Black Hebrew. Mm. Look up, Tom. Hey, you start that over. <laughs> Only the people in the kosher supermarket. I did. Uh, so, those individuals so, were I took it up. associated themselves with something called the Black Hebrew Israelite. Yeah, oh, I'm very familiar with them. Um, so, so, so let's. Are, so that, that would be she watched the video. Uh, so let's use that as an example because I'm I'm very familiar with with that group. That group. Hold up, Matt Paul. Why is she very familiar with them? Give me um, give me um, is that Saint John 13? And somebody give me Luke 22. Matter of fact, give me Luke 22 real quick. I think that's Luke 22 and 50. So she said, look, I'm very familiar with it. And that proves that the Lord is about to bring... Hey, the yeah. Lord said it. He said, I, was, I would bring fame to you in the same land you was put to shame. So that fame ain't got to just be a pop... You know, a, 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 what I'm looking for? Um, like good, in a good sense of fame. Mm -hmm. You know, because you, you could be demonized to get fame, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. But... Nevertheless, it's going to come to a point where this is not. This is going to become that elephant in the room, man. You can no longer ignore the prophets of your house by your house because the information we carry is too high power, man. See it? So what that say? Luke, Luke yeah, twenty. Yeah, yeah, give me that. Oh, that's what that is, right? Luke yeah. twenty two. Yeah. Give me that. That's what I. Right, Kai, I think it's like fifty. Yeah. Well, it's all down. Just start to get the build up. Start at fifty three. I think it is. All right, yeah, Kai. All right, yeah. This is uh, Luke twenty two and fifty three. When I was daily with you in the temple, you stretched forth no hands against me. Uh, see that? Go ahead. That's how I was speaking when they came to arrest him, man. Mm -hmm. He cut him like, look, I was out there the whole time. Go ahead. He said, but this is your hour. Woo! But this is your hour. Go ahead. And the power of darkness. Oh, and that's mm -hmm. that's going to spill over to this very day. These devils are going to have an hour where they're going to roll on us, man. Mm -hmm. When they could have did it because we was out there daily. Yep. They could have been dead, man. We were so much... You know, if we was putting people to death, why we out there? Mm -hmm. With cameras. We filming ourselves. We got cameras, man. <laughs> so you you devils, you you now you really gonna be guilty, man. Mm -hmm. Scripture says you stretch forth your hand and such that bit was at peace. What it mean to be at peace with it? That don't mean we wish peace on them. That means we ain't coming with weapons, man. Mm -hmm. We coming with Bibles and garments. Which by the way, even if you wanted to roll over in the dirt with us, we got on a garment, man. You got the advantage in that. All right, so you got more, right? Uh, let's see. I think that was, that was the point on that. That was the point on that. Yeah, right. yeah, that was the point on that. Wait, you got to raise that our daily teaching then. Yeah, you want you want the one in. Uh, yeah, give me that one too. Matthew twenty six. Yeah, give me that one too. Yep, kind of going to a little more. Yeah, detail. yeah, yeah. This is Matthew twenty six. Say Matthew twenty six and um. Uh, let's see, it's like you. Okay, this is Matthew 26 and uh Now what our Lord Yahweh said, um, if they persecuted me, they shall persecute you. Mm -hmm. You know, it also tells uh, um uh, what's that? I think that's Hebrews. Matter of fact, give me Hebrews, I think 12 and 2 real quick while I'm getting that. Hebrews 12 and 2. Hebrews 12 and 2. Because when you read the the uh adventures, if you will, man, of Yahweh Shah, everything he had to go through, man. That, that's a foreshadowing of what we're going to go through to a certain extent, you know, that same hatred, the same drama that was centered around his life, you know what I'm saying? It, it's, going, it's going to be based around us, too. You got that? Uh, Whoever got it, bring it up. Hebrews 12 and 2. You got it, first. This is Hebrews 12 and 2. Looking unto you, how shy. Yep, oh, see? <laughs> Looking unto you, how shy, right? He's an example. Go ahead. The author and the finisher of our faith. Right, the author and finisher of our faith. So what he went through, you know, the conspiracy theory, you know, they're uh, demonizing him, blaming him, you know, and ultimately uh, seizing him, apprehending him, and putting him to death. But that was his lot, you know. But the Lord is going to put set up a standard against these devils, man, when they try to put their hand on us, man. Go ahead. Continue on, it says, who, for the joy that was set before him. Right, what was the joy set before him? The kingdom. The same with us. For the joy that was set before us, go ahead. For the joy that was set before him endured the cross. Yeah, go ahead. Despising the shame, mm -hmm. and is set down at the right hand of the throne of the Most High. So, yeah, our Lord, he endured everything because he saw that prize in front of him. Go ahead. Okay, yeah, this is uh, St. Matthew 26. 
and I'm going to start at 53. It said, Thinkest thou that I cannot now pray to, pray to my father? And he shall presently give me more than 12 legions of angels. Mm -hmm. But how then shall the scriptures be fulfilled mm -hmm. that, it do, that it must be? And that same hour said, Yahweh shout to the multitudes. Are ye, are ye come out as against a thief with swords and staffs? Right, so that's how you got it. You framing us as if we're a thief with swords and staffs. When you saw us, and we talking about Great Millstone, because you niggas at uh, Sakara, we, I got a, we got a picture of you at the gun range too, man. You know, you, you niggas simple, man. You must be paid off, man. Mm. Here it is. You, oh, you ain't got good sense, man. Either way, you, you headed for destruction, man, because you're going against the will of your how about some hour shot. All right? But the point is, your house shot says you're coming up against me as you're coming against a thief. Mm -hmm. Swords and staff. When you saw us with swords and staff, man, mm -hmm. which translates to weapons, man. Our weapon is right here in the scriptures. Mm -hmm. These scriptures. Go ahead. Say, are you coming out against me? It's like, are you coming out against a thief with swords and staff? Yeah, the FBI talking about us as if we're a terrorist group, man. Mm -hmm. See that? See how this? Yeah, we we now read what's going on, yeah, man. That's it. That's it. Go ahead, huh? Said, are you come out against a thief with swords and staffs for to take me? I sat daily with you. Yeah, we had. <laughs> yeah, that's the same with us. We was out here daily. We doing a live stream now, man. We sat daily with you. Go ahead. I sat daily with you. Daily. Go ahead. Teaching in the temple. Teaching in the temple, man. Go ahead. And ye laid no hand on. Hold yeah, on you ain't me. gonna do. You ain't do nothing else. We was the big bad. Mm -hmm. Black extremists group. Why didn't you come and get us? Right, because right, you got right. an hour to do that. It's a certain hour you got to do that. You know, and once you do it, the Lord going to open up on it. That was it on it? Yeah, that was it on it. All right, now play this one more. You got something? Yeah, yeah go ahead. Right? Right? You got this is the book on Saint Matthew 5, okay. and then we'll start at verse 10. It says, Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake. Yep. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Yep, and we are persecuted for righteousness' sake, man. Yeah. And we've been made false. Matter of fact, give me, uh, I think there's uh, Isaiah 59, and uh, I think it's Isaiah 59 and 17 or something like that. 16 or 17. <clears throat> no, no. Oh, you can give me that though, Revelation. Yeah, I got that on there. Go ahead. Why are you getting that? Alright, this uh this is uh Revelation twelve and ten. It said, and I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now is come salvation and strength in the kingdom of our power and the power of his anointed. Mm -hmm. For the accuser of our brethren is cast mm -hmm. down. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, man. That's you devils. You're accusing us, man. You know? And that's how they do. They accuse us, they frame the boogeyman, mm -hmm. and then they pounce on us. Alright? Go ahead, give me what you got. Uh, Isaiah 59 and 15. Uh, yeah, true fellow. That's it. And he that departed from evil maketh himself a prey. Read that again. Okay. Isaiah 59 and 15. Yeah, true fellow. Uh -huh. And he that departed from evil maketh himself a prey. Right, so when you depart from evil, you make yourself a prey. Unto who? To these mm -hmm. devils, because this message have no place. In this society, this society was set up on lies and deception, man. We come under the banner of truth. That's a conflict right there in itself, man. Scriptures say uh, light and darkness, uh, mm -hmm. you know, really light and darkness can't mix. That's it. The wet fellowship is the wolf with the lamb. Mm -hmm. Continue on this. Right? Continue on. It says, and the Lord saw it, and it displeased him mm -hmm. that there was no judgment. Right, so the Lord, what's going to please the Lord when judgment rang mm -hmm. out, man? The judge is going to be on behalf of us. Why? Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, give me Psalm 105 real quick. You know what I want? Psalm 105. Uh, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Read that again. God, Isaiah 59 and 15. Yeah, true faileth, and he that departed from evil maketh himself a prey. Yeah, we have detached ourselves from Esau. You you evil, man. This society, we, we are no longer uh, plugged into this damn society, man. We don't align ourselves with America, man. Same thing that make you laugh, it don't affect us. Same thing make you cry. Okay? We rejoice in it. All right? Uh, uh, the the uh, so-called high holy days of America. We don't show reverence to that shit, man. Birthdays and Christmas. Your old lady mad at you because you ain't you know, celebrating or something. You know what I mean? We departed from, from evil, man. But the scripture said, he who do that make it for himself a prey. See that? So, you see that? You got something? Back him up. Oh, go ahead. This is uh, Second Peter, Second Peter two and two, mm -hmm. and many shall follow their pernicious ways. Yeah, that's it right there. By reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. Yeah, by reason of the way of truth shall be evil spoken of, man. 
Woe unto them that call good evil and evil good. We put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Which when you go into that word America, it translates to bitter. Mm -hmm. So pretty much you putting America first, you know, you putting the kingdom to the back, bro. Mm -hmm. All right, you, you that was it on that? Line? Yes, sir. Yeah. All right, so you got something? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, go ahead. Um, this on uh, St. John 15, verse 18. If the world hate you, you know they hated me before they hated you. Yeah, that's why the scripture said, look unto your house side. And what your house side cursed him, I said, look, I was out here teaching the whole time. <laughs> Coming to me as if, and you know the Lord was saying this, we can't give it justice. Man, the Lord was, man, was going in, man. Mm -hmm. Yep. You think they, hey, you think the Lord was soft, man. Hey, the scripture said the Lord was an austere man. Mm -hmm. And he and he offended. Oh, you know what proved that? Remember the disciples said, you offended the Pharisees. Remember that? <laughs> <laughs> see, because the Lord was cutting motherfuckers, man. That's why they hated him, man. But see, guess what? That's how we get down, man. You know? And we just let the chips fall where they made it. But we know who support us, man. We know who sign off on us, man. It's your how about your shot. And if you dare, matter of fact, let's get what you got real quick. Kind, yeah, this uh, oh, Psalm 105, I'm going to start at 14. Mm -hmm. He suffered no man to do them wrong. Right, so you think the Lord is going to allow you devils to, to do us wrong? And if there is any brothers who give their life, you know, uh, on behalf of this truth, mm -hmm. it was written, you know, accordingly, man. That's why even your shot said, I can call it. These legion angels, but let it be no done for the fulfillment. Yeah, I got that too. Bro. You got what you, you got that up? I just had twenty six. Yeah, yeah, we just read it earlier. Yeah, yeah that's twenty six. Yeah, yep, yeah, that's spirit though. Yep, yeah, go ahead. It says uh, he suffered no man to do them wrong. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he reproved kings for their sakes, mm -hmm. saying, "Touch not mine anointed, and do my prophets no harm." Right, so the prophets is not going to be touched by you, man. And these devils understand that they mm -hmm. they know. You know, we make a move, you know, but you know. That's why when you read Wisdom of Solomon 2, they said, let's see Ooh, if he, let's see if his words be true. It's going to get to that point, okay? That's it. So now, that proves they're watching us, Psalms 37 and 32. That's it. You know? All right, what you got? You still got more of him, Ryan? Uh, yeah, one more verse. Uh -huh. Verse 19, if you were of the world, the world would love his own, uh -huh. but because he had not Oh, if you was of the world, the world would love his own. And we were teaching this more kind of friendlier, mm -hmm. you know, you got these world friendly Israelites, you know, man, hey, you, you gay, man, just you do what you, no, man, look, man, <laughs> no, man, you got to draw a line in the, stand, in the sand, man, all right, we, we, we proclaim the words of the Lord, and in doing that, the world hate us, why, because this is not of the world, this doctrine, this idea is not bound by the earthly realm, man, which tends to please the flesh, all right, go ahead. Continuing on, it says, but because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world. See, he that departed from evil, making himself a prey. See, go ahead. Therefore, the world hated you. See that? All right. So that was it on that. You got more. Yeah, one more. Yeah, all right, yeah, yeah. Verse 20, it says, I remember the word that I said unto you, the servant is not greater than the Lord. If they persecuted me, they will also persecute you. Mm -hmm. if, if they have kept my sayings, mm -hmm. they will keep yours also. Yep, mm -hmm. so they, they don't keep, meaning what they cast off what we say. Mm -hmm. They don't retain it, only the uh, the sincere brothers and sisters retain mm -hmm. what we say and they keep. Mm -hmm. See that? So, yeah, let's go back. Uh, do you have something on there? I had that same job. 13, yep. Now let's read this again. I mean, let's uh, get this information again. Right, back up a little bit. Yeah, back up a little bit. Yep. Who oh, ungrateful themselves with something called the black Hebrew Israelite. Play that again. Oh, I might, I might want to do it. Repeat it. You see this nigga, man. Black Hebrew Thank Israelite. You. Now hold up. Oh, what we witnessing right now? This is a house. This is the House Judiciary Committee, man. This is if they speaking about, you know, uh, global affairs. You know, uh, China, Russia, the balance of power on the planet. They're for some shit, man. Mm -hmm. They're talking about the black Hebrew mm -hmm. Israelite. They're talking about great millstone. That's what they're talking about, man. Because believe you me, Esau examined everything. And they, they know who's who, man. They know his levels to these groups. They know who did it. Hey, if it went for us, they wouldn't give a damn. They, if it went for us being so diligent, man, if it was up to the other Israelite groups to make a make some type of statement, hey, they would have never even heard about a, a Israel, Israel if it was up to these other groups. It probably, they wouldn't even, it wouldn't even come up in the thought, what they call it, the related videos. Yeah. We the ones that's putting the pressure on, man. Mm -hmm. We the ones that's flooding this YouTube with videos, man. 
We the ones that's constantly pressing on you devils, man. That's why the scriptures say we are, um, uh, what did it say? Uh, for them, we are grievous for them to behold. Oh, yeah. right. See that? Oh, oh, go ahead. Uh, we were in Solomon, uh, fifth chapter and verse one. It says, Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such have afflicted him and yep. made no account of his labor. Yeah, and that proved that we're in front of their face. They see us with great boldness. You know what I'm saying? We possess with the spirit of Yahweh by Shemel You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. It says, verse 2, when they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And this is what causes them, this fear that's motivating them to do this. Because what? When a porcupine is scared, you see the thistles come up. So that's what Esau, Esau is scared, so now the military pops up. <laughs> it says, when they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of the salvation so far beyond all that they look for. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's the ultimate going to happen. Yep, yep, yep. You got something? Uh, yeah, I got something. Joel 15, we start at 20. It said, the wicked man travail with, with pain all his days, mm -hmm. and the number of his years is hidden to the oppressor. Mm-hmm. A dreadful sound is in his ear. Right, and who is the, who is the who is the uh, producer of that dreadful sound? This gust, we that dreadful sound. Mm -hmm. We that eerie sound yep. that's in his ears, man. Mm -hmm. A dreadful sound is in his ears. Go ahead. It said a dreadful sound in his ears. In prosperity, the destroyer shall come upon him. See that? <laughs> that's we're gonna be the missiles too. That's it. Mm -hmm. that's it. Yeah. All right, go ahead. This is First Edges chapter five to sixty six. Wherefore, when the enemies of the tribe of Judah and Benjamin heard it, they came to know what that noise of trumpets should mean. Well, yeah, see that? Hey, read that again. <laughs> this is read that again. First Edges chapter 5 and verse 66. Wherefore, when the enemies of the tribe of Judah and Benjamin Who are the enemies of the tribe it? of Judah and Benjamin? Esau, man. That's, that, that's Jacob and Esau. When they heard it, all right, go ahead. They came to know what that noise of trumpets. So ultimately, now they know because we breaking it down to them. They came to know what that sound means. That sound means you're gonna die. You're gonna go into captivity. You're gonna be destroyed. Right. And that's that dreadful sound. Oh, keep that in mind. Yeah, kind. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Dreadful sound. The ears of you devil. Right. Pink ears. That spirit. That spirit. Yeah. 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 Fall on their ears. Yeah. Oh, fall on deaf ears. Yeah. 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 Reach the ears of these deaf ears. Yep, yeah. 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 come on. Go ahead. Are you familiar with them? Um, so, so, so let, we are, that, that, that would be in that category. Go so back let's again. use that as an ex familiar. In the sure. supermarket. I did. Uh, mm -hmm. Those individuals were associated mm -hmm. themselves with something called a black Hebrew Israelite. Oh, I'm very familiar with them. Uh, I hit it right so, there. So, so she said, now I'm very familiar with them. Give me what you got. Uh, St. John 13. All right, cut. This is St. John 13. I'm starting at 34. It said, a new commandment I give unto you, that ye love one another as I have loved you. Right, and that's going into teaching his word. Go ahead. That ye also love one another. Right, we ought to get his word as it was given to us. You know what I'm saying? So Lord, I give us his word and you don't give it to, to those who are, you know, which, uh, that's why the Lord told Peter in a, in a, in a very uh, adamant fashion, man. He was like, look, man, if you love me, feed my sheep. Mm -hmm. See that? Or in other words, if you love me, keep my commandments, bro. Mm -hmm. It said, by this shall all men know that ye are my disciples. Read that again. It mm -hmm. said, by this shall all men know that ye are my disciples. Pray that one more time. <laughs> I did. Uh, those individuals were associated themselves with something called the black Hebrew Israelite. Oh, I'm very familiar with them. Uh, yeah, so, so that. <laughs> Read this again. It said, by this shall all men know that ye are my disciples. You, see, Pop, you see, this this is being played out right before your eyes, man. Right, the power of prophecy, man. You see how it's coming together. And we don't give a damn if you can't see it. We see it. We see exactly what's going on. We see that this, the Lord, Yahweh Shah spoke these things, man. And now it's coming to a point where you can no longer ignore us, man. Uh -huh. And Esau had only one way to deal with us. 
Esau can't deal with us no other way, okay. right? So when you deal with us that way, what's going to happen? Your how about your mouth is going to step in on our behalf, man. See? So give me that in Isaiah 59. Go ahead and play this. We're ready to uh, close this up. You okay. got something? You got something? Uh, can I, can I, can All right, go ahead. Hmm. Bring this out. This is out of the book of Susanna, uh, verse 53. For thou hast pronounced false judgment and hast condemned the innocent. Right, and that's what these devils are doing. They're pronouncing false judgment, man, mm -hmm. and indeed condemning the innocent. Which, when you read, uh, I think that's uh, St. John 7 chapter, it says there's no condemnation to those who are in your house, man. Mm -hmm. yep. So you got to answer to your house, child, when you begin mm -hmm. to condemn the men that's doing his will. <laughs> Fucking devil, man. Yeah, yeah go ahead. It says, and has condemned the innocent and has let the guilty go free. Mm -hmm. uh, albeit the Lord saith, the innocent and righteous shall not, uh, shall thou not slay. Yeah, yeah, so that, that, yeah that's beautiful. That's a commandment. Mm -hmm. All right. Lord gonna honor that. And every time you know we push them words out, they go into the atmosphere, man. Alright? So um, hold what you got and go ahead. Let's play this out. And I would be in that category. So, so let's use that as an example because I'm I'm very familiar with, with that group. That group is um, in several made which thing? Yeah, well excuse me, but I'm taking the prerogative of the chair. Um <laughs> She <laughs> got like a glow and uh, talking about her. As thing. an example, is that a group? Because they are open, you know, I mean, you see them on the street. That's the spirit of the Lord. Groups. They're not a secret group at all. That's, hit that. That that's the spirit of the Lord. He condemned right there. Look at the look <laughs> on this nigga face, man. Nigga guilty of this. Uh-huh. Greg, give what you got real quick, huh? Uh, Matthew 5 and 14. Ye are the light of the world. Mm -hmm. A city... A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Read that again. That's All right. Uh, St. Matthews 5 and 14. Ye are the light of the world. Mm -hmm. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Cannot be hid. So you think you're going to just continue to ignore us? Give a damn but you turn your head when you see us out there on the streets. We, we there. You know? So you can't, you know, you can't play it off like we ain't there. And you see, these people know we there. All right, go ahead. Out. The part of the racially motivated um, extremism, the group. I understand the act that took place. I understand the individuals, and it's not clear their level of association. What I would say to you on that is that we have some investigations into individuals Mm -hmm. who associate themselves with that movement. Beyond those two people? Yes. Okay. And um, Director Ray, documents published in... See? And that's the end of it, right? <laughs> so now we know that this is chess. So the Lord have, have bought... This has been a chess game been going on for the longest. So now you made a move, right? Now you, you got to be careful how you make this move because you're going to force the hand of your how about your mouth. And they know that. You know? Why? Because when you make that move, what you have made on all those of you deem a threat, you know, to your uh, diabolical plan and your outlook, right? And the only way they, they combat it is with they sword. Guess what? When you try that with us, this this right here is going to be fulfilled. Right. Okay. Get that. Yeah, the Isaiah 59, 19. Mm -hmm. So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west mm -hmm. and his glory, glory from the rising of the sun when the enemy shall come in like a flood. Right, the enemy is going to come in like a flood, man. The flood is overwhelming. Go ahead. The spirit of the Lord, how about Shema Washai, shall lift up a standard against him. And that's why, you know, we, yeah. we, we welcome this, man. We see that type of information. Mm -hmm. it's, it's really comforting. I know that might sound crazy. You know? It's comforting to know mm -hmm. that you devils about it. Man, we ready to get the hell up out of here. Right. right. You know, we right. make the best of it. You know? Right. But we better get the fuck up out of it because right. we know what's in front of us, man. Right. Right? So, hey, with that, anybody else got something? Mm -hmm. Hey, with that, we want to give all praise, honey, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shah, Bashem, Rakakadash. Double honest to our teachers, the head of the house, and the elders of Ray Millstone. Shout out to you, brothers that have labored in his work as well as you believers. The Akim and Aqua, brothers and sisters alike that subscribe to this truth. You know, again, this was the first installment of, uh, right. as is, well, as is foretold in the scriptures. Well, we will be going into this series. It'll be an ongoing series. So next time, Shalom. Shalom. DTA. Abba, Abba. Christopher Ray, man. He's a key bird, man. That nigga might be Christopher Columbus. That's true.
Yeah. You see that? Yeah. 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 Yeah.